Hi there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams MVP. First of all, I hope all of you are okay. And now let me introduce the topic for today's video. As you can see in the screen, uh, today I'm going to talk about a nice feature we have as part of SharePoint Syntax or Microsoft Syntax, as you can see in the documentation or SharePoint Premium. Sorry, indeed, this will be SharePoint Premium. Anyway, we're going to talk about comment and collaborate using annotations in SharePoint Premium. So this is a feature that is uh, enabled as soon as you have, uh, for instance, SharePoint Premium pay as you go enabled in your tenancy. So you don't, you don't need to have a SharePoint Premium subscription. And uh, as you can see here, uh, basically this feature allows you to add annotations to documents you have in a document library. And the good thing of those annotations, mm, they are going to work as you can see here, um, those file types, uh, AI, DWG, EPUB, PDF, RTF, and TIFF. Those annotations are going to be part of the file. That means that we are not modifying the file when making an annotation in a file stored in a document library, but we can see the annotations as part of that. We are neither generating versions of the documents and so on. So this is a really, really useful feature in my opinion. So let's see actually how it works. Before doing that, remember, really, really important to have everything properly configured in terms of uh, pay-as-you-go features in um, SharePoint Premium. And remember, many of the features you can try for free. That's awesome. So if I go to settings, sorry, I go to setup, and then I look for the specific area or section where uh, I can configure, SharePoint Premium Experiences, File and Content is called. I can click on Automate Content Process with Syntax. And as you can see here, those are some of the features that are available on the Pay-as-you-go mode. So if I click on Go to Syntax Settings, just to remember you how this works. As you can see here, yeah, we have um, a lot of features that are related to work with documents. So to fill columns, document translation, and so on. And if I remember well, uh, annotation is part of this. Even it's not available in here because you don't need to do anything. So let's go to actually document library where I have SharePoint Premium, where I'm using SharePoint Premium features. So in this case, I have this document library with two folders in, the, in this document library. And I'm going to open this PDF file. PDF format is supported for annotation in syntax. I am seeing the file here in the modern Microsoft 365 file viewer. That's perfect. And taking a look at the different tools I have in the tools uh, action bar, there is one that is called so annotations. If I click on show annotations, immediately I should see two themes. First, the annotations tools. I have a pencil, I have this highlighter, and of course, I have an eraser. If I scroll down, you are going to see that I have been already playing with annotations in SharePoint Premium. So I can see the annotations in the file. If I click here in the three dots and I click on version history, you are going to see that there are no versions of the document, even I have annotations. It's what I say, the file is not modified by the annotations feature. So it's a layer on top in the end. So I can clock the version history, and now I can start playing with the annotations. So I can select the pen. I have, as you can see, the possibility to choose the color. I have also a level of thickness. So in this case, I'm going to select the pen. I'm going to click again. So I can move the thickness level. I think maximum level is six. And then I can choose a color. And now I'm using a device that is a Surface is a book too. So that means that I can use my, uh, I can use ink, I can use my pencil. So uh, you are not seeing this, but I'm using my pencil here in my screen and I'm trying to write something with the color. So you can see the level of thickness. This is great. Sorry for being so slow. This is great. And now I can go down, for instance, in the document and 
For instance, instead of using the pen, I can use the highlighter. So I can highlight actually parts in the file I'm really interested in, such as this one, for instance, as an example, also this part. And I can keep um, reviewing the file and adding my annotations. Of course, if I did a mistake, I can erase it. Well, it's not doing a thing. <laughs> ah, now it, it did. So it worked. it's working as expected. So I'm done with this. I can close the file. I can open again. So you can see actually the annotations are part of uh, the visualization experience of the file. I'm not part of the file because as I was mentioning, the file is not modified. So I can go down. I not see my annotations in here because first, remember, I need to click on show annotations. Now, I see my annotations. So this is really, really awesome. Of course, others are going to see those annotations too. Uh, that's not absolutely correct. I'm not really sure if others are going to see the annotations, but at least I can see them. Yes, either for yourself or for, the, for others. So others are also going to see my annotations. So this is really, really cool. And that's all uh, about uh, the annotations feature in SharePoint Premium. I hope you have found this video useful and I hope you continue watching my videos. Most of the content is in Spanish, but from time to time, specifically when I'm talking about uh, SharePoint Premium features, I also produce some English video. So please subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel, and you will be up to date with new content I generate. For now, that's all. So bye bye and see you soon. Cheers.